So today we're going to look at the uh, application where you have two servos to control the elevator of the aircraft. You have two servos, one normal servo where your minimum and maximum throws are normal, they extend the full range. And then you have a second servo which has different linkages, is located in a different position and requires uh, a, a smaller range compared to the first one. So how do we support this on the BL3GRC gyro? Well what we do is we connect up the um, the pitch for the first servo in the normal way. The, uh, the first servo output 1 is the pitch for the first servo. So the second servo where we want a reduced range we connect to the the negative pitch which is output 2 of the BL3G gyro we loop this round and connect this into input 2. Input 2 is typically where we would put the throttle input but we're going to use it now to change the range of this, uh, this servo. So once we've done this then we output the new signal on output 6 so we will then have uh, a second um, pitch servo on output 6 with a reduced range. So let's see how to set up the gyro to achieve this. Well, uh, first of all we go to the basic tab page and we make sure we have uh, check to output throttle onto output 6 set. This will then ensure that the we have an output coming onto output 6 and there's no need to have the safety lock feature on. And if we want both, both servos to operate in the same direction then we need to invert the one on output 2. Okay, once we've done this, we go to the Advance 1 page tab. Uh, and here, bearing in mind now, we have the normal pitch servo signal coming in uh, to the power signal or the throttle signal. We will now adjust the ranges here. So typically the range for the power here uh, is from 1100 to 1940 with a typical Futaba setup. So what we'll do is we will change this now. Um, so how to change this? We want to uh, make this range much larger so that the output then becomes uh, scaled down. So let's have a look. Uh, the range normally from 1100 to 1940 uh, is 840. So if we want the central position to be the same then we need to extend upwards and extend downwards. So the range is 820, half that is for, uh, sorry, 840, half that is 420. So 1940 plus 420 is 2360. And then to go down from 1100, 1100 minus 420 is 680. Okay, so now we've got this new range set up, we go back to the basic tab and send all the data to the gyro uh, and now we're done. So here we see the uh, two servo output signals as we uh, move the pitch up and down. You can see that uh, one servo is extending the full range the other servo only half range and uh, of course in the central position uh, they're both central.